Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. If you're watching this, you may have this error message when you're trying to format your disk and prepare for bootcamp on your Mac on High Sierra. We're gonna look at how to fix it right after this. So here we are, you have got uh, Mac OS High Sierra, the new OS, and you are having trouble formatting that disk and actually getting Windows 10 or another version of Windows installed. The reason this is happening is because of the new file system that Apple is using, which is called APFS. So the old format has actually changed and they've actually changed it to APFS in new uh, version High Sierra. And more than likely, the reason that this is causing you problems is because of Time Machine. So you'll probably have some form of backups on your Mac that are backing up to a Time Machine external hard drive. And the general reason this is failing uh, is because your Time Machine backups or your hard drives are actually formatted in the old partition. They're not formatted in APFS. So the easiest way to fix this is to actually go out and clear all of your Time Machine backups. Actually stop your Time Machine backups and delete that disk from your Time Machine backups uh, and then start again once you have reformatted that disk and you have Boot Camp installed. And what you do is you literally click on the Time Machine option up here or you can go into, into uh, System Preferences and you go into Time Machine and in here you'll see I've got my Aguero's Time Machine on, uh, on my NAS and all I want to do is I want to select that disk right and actually say remove disk this will stop backing up to this NAS or this external hard drive that you have and you should be good to go and once your time machine is turned off it's also good to remove any snapshots that you may have so the actual Mac OS hard drive uh, contains some local snapshots that are sort of uh, bound somewhat to time machine so you can go into the terminal app so you just go into Spotlight and look up Terminal. This is the command line app for your Mac. All right, and we're going to type that in. So I'll put that in my uh, in my description on my video as well. But essentially, it's just tm util uh, space thin local snapshots space forward slash space uh, a whole bunch of nines. Uh, you can count how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 nines, and then press enter. So once it's finished, to know that it's completed successfully, it should say thinned local snapshots. Uh, the last thing you could also do is to do a disk utility, like a first aid on your hard drive. So you can go into the disk utility by going to Spotlight and typing in disk utility. Once that opens up, you will see your hard drive listed under Macintosh hard drive generally. All right, so you select that hard drive and you click on first aid. So this will run a full first aid against your disk. You can click on run. It will then lock that disk so that it, you know, it, it can do a full first aid on it. And it will clear out any remainder uh, junk or any things that need to get fixed across that um, new disk that you've got. And then once that is all done, you should then be able to go back into your bootcamp assistant and try to format that disk again. So that is the step. So. Uh, three things that you can try is to turn off your uh, your time machine and actually remove the disk that you have uh, your time machine backups connected to. Uh, you can also go and remove any of those time machine snapshots which are saved on your local disk on your computer by going into terminal and running that command. And then finally, you can go and do a disk utility uh, first aid check uh, against your disk also, and then go and try to reformat that disk within bootcamp. If you're still having problems after that, there could be underlying issues that may be causing uh, some grief for you, but those issues, those fixes are generally what will solve your problem. So love it if you find this helpful. Uh, please comment below and share this video. The more you share it, the more it helps my channel grow, and we will talk to you next. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital by Computing, just on the button there for more videos.